All right, guys. Uh, Wayne Poland versus crazy. Cat Patrick Kim. This is a really good match so far. It's one game to one. They've been playing even. And I'm sitting here with Amir Shoshan. Amir. You'll get me. Amir, did you do? I got some side action. All right. We're going to a race to six here, and this is for third, fourth place. Or fourth place. Is there another? There's another game, isn't there? Sorry. There's another game, isn't there? After this, before the Bo Runnigan. Um. Or is this, this it? This is third, fourth, right? Yeah. Is, is this it? And then Bo? I think so. Yeah. No. I don't see anyone else left standing here. <coughs> Very nice. About about as good as you could do with so, that. You know, on this table, you're so focused on making the ball that you just often uh, come up short on position. You need to hit a little harder, maybe. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. This is a tough shot. Oh, he's following. Wow. I don't see any reward in this shot, actually. Do you? It looks like he's trying to go three rails. <clears throat> One, two, three. Not hard enough, though. The re I mean, it's so hard to get where you need to get on that shot. Yeah, yeah you got to spin it. I think even if the fi the cue ball kept going, he might have hit the five weird. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you'd have to spin it to come long. Yeah. So he's going to play safe here. Yeah, I mean, we kind of know what to expect from Wayne. He's, he's been a, a long-time one-pocket player, and so he knows how to move the ball, you know, better than many players here in Southern California. Nice. That's good. Wayne Pollins won a lot of money in one-pocket. You know, he's done surprisingly well in uh, nine-ball tournaments, too. Mm-hmm, that's true. Actually, for those who don't know, Wayne is like a, a pretty big action player. He plays pretty good action one pocket, and he makes mm -hmm. pretty good money when he does it. But we don't no see slouch. a lot of him. He plays. He pretty much sticks to House House of Billiards in uh, Santa Monica. I don't go there much at all, yeah, just I mean, because yeah. of the where, where it is. Oh, he could have made that. Oh, Patrick oh. could have made that. He's left a wide open table now. Are you disappointed, man? How'd you do last year? Uh, fourth. Fourth place. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I had to play Jerry Lynn the first match. T uh, I saw that, man. Yeah. And you won, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, you guys went hill-hill. No, 6-4. Oh, was it 6-4? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was hill-hill. Me and, me and uh, I think Scott, Scott and I were sweating it. Some, me and somebody were sweating it together. The only match I went hill hill was was the, was the one I lost against Allen. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't make it, man. No, nah, it's okay. What happens? You got some money back, right? One ten. You got 110 <clears throat> back. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I'm surprised uh, Wayne missed that ball. Nice shot. Just gonna go for the combo. I like the carom. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the carom's no good. Wow. That Look. wasn't even close, but he got lucky. Yeah, but oh my goodness. He, Wayne is laughing. <clears throat> yeah, he hit that pretty poorly. Yeah, that was one of those. That was one of those rob, rob me shots. Everybody's squinting. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick knows he knows what happened and and he's gonna get away with it. He's <laughs> Wayne is still smiling. Yeah, that's it. It's brutal when that happens. Patrick knows he's gotten away with it. There we go. 
He's not gonna feel guilty about it though. Shoot. No, he's you know, shooting shoot, like you gotta, he meant to do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's two to one. <laughs> And Patrick Kim's in the lead. This is a race to six. Um, I'm sitting with Amir Shoshan, who also played this tournament, and he got knocked out in, what is it, fifth, six? Seven, eight. Seven, Seven eight. eight. Getting $110. The winner of this match will move on to play Bo Runnigan, and uh, the loser of this will receive $350 for third place. Winner is guaranteed 550 Yep, the winner's guaranteed five fifty, and uh, first place is a thousand. first place is a thousand bucks today. So, how do you like Bo's game? Pretty damn strong. Huh? Oh yeah. Well, I've too. I've always admired Bo's game. <clears throat> I, 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 he reminds me of uh, Johnny Archer when he was younger. You seen him before? Play before? Johnny Archer? No, no. <laughs> Bo. Bo? Yeah. Uh, I've I, seen I, him. I, uh, I, this is the first time I've seen him no, uh, I've yesterday. Seen, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been. I've known him for about eight months. I've oh. been watching him for about okay. eight months. He gave Barbara a lesson, actually. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Man, he plays good. Yeah, he plays well. He really does. I mean, he reminds me of a young Archer. That's what he yeah. reminds me of. Yeah. How old is he? He's about 24 or 26. He's young. Oh, okay. He's young and he's married. And Still I think improving. They, huh? huh? <clears throat> and he works. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is interesting. He's got a 9 to 5. I mean, could you imagine yeah. if he was putting in 8 hours a day, six, 5 hours a day yeah. even, or 3 hours a day? Mm -hmm. I mean, just the way he practices when I see him play... He practices like kicks. He doesn't like a lot. Real tough shots off the rail. Yeah, he practices yeah. real tough shots off the rail, like ticky shots. Mm -hmm. Bo's definitely a force to be reckoned with, you know, if he puts more time and effort into it. And gets a little more field, um, field work. I, I haven't seen any, any weakness in his game so far, you know. <clears throat> oh, uh, Nikki Run uh, tells me in the chat room that uh, Bo is 28 years old. Okay, he looks younger, actually, for even for a tall guy. But Bo's 28 years old. Okay. Well, speaking, of, wow, look at this. Uh. <laughs> You know, you got to hit that so good on this table. Mm. I mean, this 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 spread is fraught with danger. Anyway, I mean, look. Mm -hmm. Even if he had the angle for the two, where how's he going to get to the three? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's almost uh, you can predict a safety battle at this point. But yeah, pretty much. You might be able to bank this one next to the three bow. So you still living down in San Diego? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, might be Amir, back next year. I just asked Amir today if he would join a uh, <laughs> eight ball league with me. Maybe I might be. I might actually play BCA this year, and then go to Vegas with those guys. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I haven't done it for a few years. Wow, went for the nine. Oh wow. Look at this. He's actually landed okay. Mm. That was pretty risky, breaking it, breaking all those balls out. So, you know, going for a flyer like that. No, I suppose you're right. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised that Wayne just did that. Yeah, I mean, these are like, you got to hit them clean. Do you think Wayne maybe just is doing that, like, no respect? He doesn't think Patrick can run out? I, I think he might be a little frustrated from the last match still, you know. Losing to Bo? Well, yeah, you know, he, you know, maybe just the way he played. Or, not that there's anything wrong with losing to Bo, but 
Well, just the way he played, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he's probably not rattled or he something. Didn't, it's uh, not he, that. He didn't play as well as he could have. No, it was a good match. It was a yeah. good match. Mm-hmm. This is pretty... This ma- this run right here is pretty uh, textbook. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get... Anything can go wrong, though. So, don't count, don't count Patrick out yet. You got a nine to five too. You work, don't yeah. you? No. Yeah. Or you? What do you commission? Yeah. Huh? By the job? I, I, I was playing online poker for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh... Well, that's a, that could that, be tough, huh? The, what's that? That could be tough, can it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's like he's struggling <laughs> a little too. Yeah, he 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 threw the kitchen sink at that one, didn't he, he? He got on the wrong side of the five, and then just. I don't think Wayne can make this. So he's is he playing to make it? Nah, he's not playing to make this. He sees an easy safety here. He's not happy with it, but you know, uh, he can see the edge of the five there. Yeah. You know, this is actually testing Patrick's knowledge right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know yeah. much of uh, how, how good of a safety player Patrick really is. Well, he should be okay if he th- hits it real thin, comes around through or else. I'm not going to hit it really thin. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hit a little too thin there. It's not frozen. Patrick taking a look at it. It's not frozen. Wayne's going to try to do the same thing, maybe, you know. Oh, he actually oh, got man. a little bit of a double kiss there. I'm telling you, man, one pocket player. Yeah, but still, that's a containing shot, you know what I mean? Uh, no, if he, can, if he can bank the five back where it was, he might even get the cue ball behind the nine there. He can spin it. Oh, he can get oh, underneath. Oh, he can get underneath, but... Well, that's not going to be any good. Didn't hit it hard enough. You definitely don't want to miss that shot. If you can get underneath that ball, mm-hmm. that's you, huge. That's not a. That's actually not a hard shot to miss, is it? <laughs> it really isn't. I mean, he really just needed to play the weight of the cue ball a little bit and spin. Spin yeah. does the rest. He's shooting a little fast. This is going to be pretty easy. Uh, he's not happy though. <laughs> Made the eight a little tougher. Yeah, he did. He really did. <laughs> this is how kind of how, how Wayne's day is going, huh? Yeah. I don't like this shot at all. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know why he followed that ball instead of uh, trying. It. <laughs> There's like Derek. Is, uh, Derek takes a look over and says, so "I say he dogs it." Now he's got to follow it three rails. This is really tough. Well, he's got a spectator behind him too. That yeah. was like. The odds of look at it. really did he get shit? Yeah, he oh it. my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> <coughs> BBQ, safe and sound at home. Hi Barbara Lee. I'm just making you a moderator. You don't have to stay and moderate. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it home safe. Patrick Kim playing Wayne Pullen right now. 
Oh, wow, yeah. that was careless. But I, th- I think he just, he just didn't care. He just think he just thought, oh, okay, let me just get the cue ball up there. Yeah, he just hit a little thicker yeah. than he wanted to, but I think he's okay. See, uh, you can't even leave Wayne open though, because he'll just trap you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not this time though. He will trap you. He will get you eventually. <laughs> I really don't think Patrick can outmove him, but I could be wrong. Well, I don't see much here except bringing the uh, eight right back to the where that chalk is. Which chalk? There was one at the other end. Yeah, of the, the table. other end. The, the other end. end of the He's table. trying to cut it in. Mm-hmm. It looks like. Uh oh. Okay, so that's a good way to miss, but <laughs> I can't believe he went for it. You think you think he thought about that shot, but then the maybe he was worried about a scratch. Um. Did well, he wanted he, to bring the cue your ball shot, down there. You know. Oh, my shot? No, yeah, there was no scratch shot. there. Was... Wayne's got to go for this. But it's it's such a thirty percent shot, you know, on this table. Yeah, well, that wouldn't have gone on any table. <laughs> I think that's what he played. He said to himself, "If I'm going to miss this, I miss this short." Mm-hmm. And that's that's how you play that shot. I've been doing that lately. When I shoot, I tell myself, "If I'm going to miss this, you know, I miss it long or I miss it short." Yeah. Do you uh, do that? That's a little Sometimes. cool secret, huh? What's he doing? Oh, he's going to try to spin it behind the nine. Yeah, that's right, Barbara. Amir Shoshan. That's a tough shot. I like I like thinning the right side of the eight. Hey, what's up, Barbecue? Uh, no, Amir, Amir's done. He, oh, yeah. He, he lost to Alan Heinen, who's all of a sudden playing much better. <laughs> <laughs> he might have gotten lessons from Dave Hemmer or something. Or Twig or any one of the locals like, that hang out here. He plays out here? Huh? He plays here in this room? Yeah, Alan, generally I see him here. Unless he goes to another room. All right, two to two. Who do you like here? I like Wayne still. Yeah, I, I think Wayne has a bit of an edge here. Just because of the knowledge, you know. Cue ball control. No, this isn't the final match of the big deal, Barbara. This is, by the way, this is the big deal you're watching. The big deal tournament, number two, uh, the second annual that they've had so far. It's uh, 2500 added, only 25 bucks to get in. If you want to know more about New World Billiards, uh, check out their website at www.newworldbilliards.com. Uh, look, at, look into how you can become more involved with New World Billiards. They have a handicap system about... 150, 160 members and uh, looking for more pool rooms to host their events and all that good stuff. So go to newworldbilliards.com. This is uh, Patrick Kim and Wayne Pullen. You know, I came here thinking... Score now is 2-2. Two two. Sorry, Amir. Go ahead. Yeah. I thought it was the New World Order. That's why I'm here. The New World Order? Yeah. No? <laughs> well, that's why you're here? Okay. <laughs> I'd be running. <laughs> what about the end of the world? How about that? That's coming up. That Are is, you going to play yeah. that? Um, <laughs> I got six spots open, I think. Oh, yeah? No. That's I don't think one, I could fade that field. You know? Well, what if that whole field doesn't show up? <laughs> like, what if half of it only shows up? 
You should get someone to sponsor then you. Maybe Derek will sponsor you. <laughs> Derek. Derek. Want to sponsor he, him in already, the end of the world tournament? He, he's already sponsored 40%. <laughs> he's been it's losing side bets to me today. What day is that? Friday? It's a Friday, the 21st of December. The end of the world. Amir needs a sponsor, man. Dude, come on. You guys could get rich. You know what's so funny about this end of the world tournament? Everybody asks the most obvious question. What if the end of the world happens? You know, <laughs> do I get my money back on the pay-per-view? Do I, you know, do you get your money back if Why the should world I buy a raffle ticket? It's the end of the world. What? They're asking if they get their money back if it's the end of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. But it's all rhetorical, really. Mm -hmm. It's just a joke, you know. Anyway. I'll tell you what. If it's not the end of the world, you pay my entry fee. That's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. So Patrick seems like he's trying to hang in there with the safety battles, right? Mm-hmm. He's got to hit a rail here. He's got to hit a rail. It's not going to happen. Nope. Not going to happen. And that's and, his uh, open Wayne's rack. And Wayne's got to run out when he's got these opportunities, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. This is tough, though. Look, he's going up and down mm. a mm. little bit. It's okay. Uh-oh. Out of short. line, maybe? Way out of line. Yeah. These guys are both playing tight, I think. Yeah. It wears on you after a while, match after match, you know? Oh, yeah. Safety. Is he going to sell out? <clears throat> Can't really see from here. It's kind of like half a sellout. It's 50% off because how's he going to get to the four? It's going to be a tough shot either way. Well, if he can see it, he can he can draw it back. He can draw it back. Yeah, yeah he's just going to draw it back. Yes. Look at that. Nice shot. That is perfect. It's pretty much... <clears throat> oh, he decided not to try anything fancy yeah, with the cue ball. Kinda, just, you know, he, he has to play this with inside, and it looks like he's drawing slow. three rails around. No, he's going to no, slow. No, he's playing it. with slow inside. That's yeah, tough when you got to hit it like that. Yeah. You know what? i got to say, that's the second time I've seen him have trouble finessing. You know, yeah, he, he likes to hit the balls for sure. He does like to. He likes to stroke through. Yeah. I think Wayne's gonna go up and down two rails. Maybe, maybe even just one, Amir. You know. Uh. Well, yeah. If you're gonna get shaped like that, you know. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> he used the. He used the titty. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was a tough shot to hold up. It's got a good angle. Yeah, it's a perfect angle, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? Wayne deserves this role because Patrick got a couple already. True. Ugh. <sighs> I think it's going to want to follow it three rails, spin it around. Yeah, he, I don't know. I can't tell what he's queuing up for. He looks like he's drawing, but I don't know if that's how he cues. He's drawing. Yeah, I don't like drawing uh, it. Yeah, because yeah, there's the risk of the side pocket, too, you know, the possible scratch. Yeah. Boy. 
I don't know what he was trying to do there. He needs to have a Bluetooth on and direct line to you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd like to do that playing one pocket, have him coach me. Perfect speed. Yeah. You know what? That's I'm liking shot Patrick there. lately. He's he's been he's playing good shot. That's a good shot. He got a he got a good shot out of that. Very good. <clears throat> but it's only two to two. He's gonna just yeah, have to kick at one rail. Yeah. And you know, try to aim it toward that side pocket. Wait, which kick do you like? That kick, the one he's looking at? No, no, I like coming to the short rail, kicking it toward the side pocket. Right, right. So, you know, get the cue ball, get the eight ball back to where the cue ball is. Yeah. But he, he, he'd, he'd have to spin it. Well, yeah, he looks like, looks like to me he's at that angle. He might have to spin. But that's still not too hard of a shot. No. If he misses, the cue might go behind the nine. Yeah, I don't like going the way he's going right now because uh, even if you hit it, you know, well, it's if just he, if he shoots this, he has to hit it and he has to do it with speed. Yeah. I hit it pretty good. He's gonna be okay. This ain't this ain't going nowhere, guys. <laughs> I think Patrick's going to try to cut this in the left corner there. Is that your phone, brother? Nope. It's an interesting ring. He's going to cut this. Yeah, he's going to cut it. Bring the cue ball all the way down, just like that. Play it in the side pocket. Well, that was a nice shot. He bared down on it. Yeah, it yeah. was a good shot. He was playing the cue ball to get from right there, too. Mm -hmm. He knew that's the shot he, he could execute. Well, plus, it's, it's if he misses, that's a great place to put the cue ball. You know? And he made the nine. That was, a, you know, that's a pressure shot right there and a good shot on the nine. He's up 3-2. Patrick's up 3-2. You're Patrick is up. And you want to take Patrick. So here we go. Race to six. Patrick racking his next rack. And uh, it's uh, currently three games to two now. Patrick ahead. This is a one-loss side match. This is for third, guaranteed fourth place. No, guaranteed third place. <laughs> I'm just testing you, Amir. <laughs> Winner, loser of this match will get $350. And uh, nine ball doesn't count on the break. And that's what just went down. I want to say hello to I want to say hello to Pool Watcha in the chat room. Welcome, Pool Watcher. Wayne lost to Bo Runningan in the last match, Barbara. Actually, two matches ago. No, the last match. Paula Parika, pool watcher, in the chat room. Look at the tropics. That means look at the traffic. In Tagalog. Tagalog English. <laughs> that was an interesting shot. 
interesting. But, uh, yeah. I didn't hear a double hit there. You didn't hear a double hit there, did you? You ever been hooked like this by two balls and you can't play the Masse because of the second ball ahead? I'm looking to tie something up, but I don't really see This is this is this is jail right here. I would try to just put the four directly underneath the nine. Oh, the zigzag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the seven's way in the way, Amir. Maybe he's going to play to go around the six? Yeah, he's going around the six. No, he's not. He's going under the six. This is, I don't like this. No, no, no. I'll give you ten, $10 on this shot, Derek. <laughs> No, I, I didn't. Yeah, this was. You were right. He should have tied a ball up, or tried to. What's going on? Both these guys. Well, and Wayne's the one who's had the most chances, right? He's had like uh, I think this is his third thing. He's 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 gotten bad shape on, don't you? He's hooked himself on the four ball. He can't. He's got a kick. Oh. Yeah, the fives. The fives going to help big time. Wow, wow. Well, even in even in that situation, he's getting the rolls. So. I think this uh, stream table, maybe this, the size of the pockets on this table have gotten them a little freaked out. What do you think? Patrick's thinking of some kind of kick safety. Is that what he was lining up? Oh, I... Huh? Yeah. This is a semi-final match. Patrick Kim and Wayne Pullen. Uh-oh. Too good? Can he make the six? Oh, my goodness. No, I think... I, I think I see a little angle there. I see a little angle. I see a little angle. I think he can make this and fo follow forward for a really easy shot on the seven. No. Oh, here we go. This is a tester. This is a tester. That's perfect, and that's the kind of that's the kind of pain Wayne wants to inflict on Patrick if he wants to win this. You know what I mean? He's got to rattle him a little bit. Oh no! Oh no! While Patrick makes this ball, Pat, uh, Wayne is going to grab for some tools out of his bag. Is exactly what he's doing. 
He's got a tip tapper in his hand and he's working on his uh, tip right now. Do you know what kind of cue he plays with, Wayne? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Patrick now ahead two games. Isn't this weird? It seems like actually Wayne's been getting more of the roles. But he has not been playing well enough to... Yeah, he's not been playing well enough. Yeah. He's been getting the roles and doing nothing with them. You know, that's been his problem. These are... <laughs> what are these? Three and, three and a half inch pockets? No. <laughs> they are three and seven eighths. Four to two, four to two in a race to six, everybody. That was the break by Patrick Kim. We still got 131 people watching pool tonight. Yeah, it's been around it's been around that for about three hours. So jump on Facebook, everybody, and tell everybody we're we're streaming this match. We're gonna be doing first Sunday too, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. Putting in my work. Thanks for the donation from Derek Kim. And if you guys want to donate to POV Pool, please, please tell your friends where to go. POVpool.com slash donate. <laughs> Trust me, I'm losing my shirt. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even afford to play tournaments these days. <laughs> And when I do get paid, I don't get paid enough, man. I'm serious. If you donate $25 or more, I'll send you a Kamui tip. Uh, a voucher for a Kamui tip. Which is great because you're supporting your tip installers. You know, they're making a little money. Everybody makes a little money when you donate $25. You spread, you spread the wealth a little bit. Get the economy moving. It's the end of the world next. Uh, in three weeks <laughs> uh, I really appreciate it thanks to anybody who can donate to POV pool I put in a lot of chair time in your future uh, I didn't know you were a fortune teller bro If I was rich, I'd give you a thousand bucks, but I'm going in the streets next month. Well, I know. I know how it is. Some people aren't, aren't, aren't in the streets, though. So, uh, You know who made a very interesting comment? Uh, a cue case maker that I know named Rex Goulet. Right? He said, like, uh, um, it's so funny how people will spend like money on things that just get destroyed in a week, but they won't buy like a piece of art that someone makes you know and that, 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 that is less expensive that will be treasured for years you know we buy like we spend five dollars on a cup of coffee and we spend like you know we spent eight dollars on a fast food lunch you know but then when it comes to like hey 25 bucks for something that'll last forever Somebody, somebody makes a, not forever, but somebody makes like a bracelet or something like that. Because he makes leather stuff. So Rex Goulet, he's a great, he great, makes really good cue cases. Uh-oh. Do you see uh, how you could play, like how you would play Patrick? 
by watching his game. And the same thing with Wayne. Like, would you? Yeah. How would you play those guys? Mirror, your, vo your volume is down for a few couple minutes. Oh, okay. I guess when you were talking to Marie. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. I'm back. Okay. They're even. You notice how he's careful kinda he is. He's kind of tightened up. He's, yeah. He's careful. Like he's not even stroking it in like he yeah. wants to. Right. Because this table will will really kill that. Mm-hmm. Oh man, Twig. Twig just walked right in front of him. I don't think Twig meant it. No, it's not. No, okay. You know. Don't you hate when you do that? You know, because everybody mm -hmm. does it. What's worse is when they stop, right? When you're <laughs> right in front of you, you know, because they see you at the last second. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, they <laughs> and they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't move, yeah. you know. That's one of those Moroccan shark moves, man. All right. Tightens up the lead. It's now four games to three. And uh, thanks for sitting in the box, man. Oh, no. It's, you know, it's always fun with you. You're actually a pretty quiet dude, you know, so. Actually, he's a humble player, too. You're, you're, you're a good opponent because you play right. You play pool right. You know, like you're a good uh, yeah. your demeanor. Oh, yeah? Maybe that's just on a TV table. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't think so. I've seen you play other players. Look at that. It's a nice break there. I mean... Yeah. I was having a hard time making a ball on the break here. Oh, were you? Yeah, I don't. I think I made one the whole the whole set. I've been using a cut break lately, oh, yeah? and it seems to be working well for all tables. Hmm. That's okay. a good shot. Wayne's coming back. Yeah, I kind of th knew he was going to make that because. He's had enough practice all day, all day on this table. He knows exactly where he needs to hit it. Looks like he's drawing it back. It's good. This isn't perfect. I play the no. He's okay. He, I play the six down the the far corner. Derek, good luck. Thank you. Derek Kim gave me a $10 donation. That's nice. <laughs> I Ten? swear to God. Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I thought it was... I thought it was... Derek, four. what did you think oh, he I gave me? I thought it was 25 for some oh, reason. Oh, I wish it was 25. Oh. I'd give him a Kamui voucher. Mm. <laughs> Derek's a nice guy, man, and he works too. He works, yeah. He works like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot. Wow. Uh oh, nice uh oh. Shot. Well, that's a bad roll. Yeah, he knew. He knew it. But I really think he should have played the six in the other corner, up the up. Uh, up yeah. There. I guess I don't know. I I didn't look at it closely enough. I was thinking about it, Derek. So, dude, can I can I leave you for a second? I yeah, gotta sure. go to the restaurant. Go ahead. Hot stream and coffee. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> yeah. 
Looks like he left himself kind of straight here. He's going to have to draw it back. That's good. Good enough. Score is five to three. And we're gonna have to wait for Daniel to come back to change it because I don't know how. Patrick Kim is on the hill actually. Hill three. Made a couple balls. Um, the combo is on, I believe, for the four in the side, but he's going to play safe. Up. Nope, played it off the rail. Big shot. Wayne's still in. Can't count him out. He wins this. He's only one game down. Cannot hit any part of the rail on this table and expect to make the ball. Not sure what he's looking at. I think he can just come straight up one rail, but ugh. he miscued. He was trying to hit rail first and come around, um, which didn't seem necessary to me, but maybe he uh, saw it differently. And Wayne's back. And He's got a real good angle here, just drive right back off the rail in line for the nine in the corner. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Five to four. Patrick's on the hill. Wayne's got four and breaking. I think they're both feeling a little pressure. They are they are missing more than they normally do. Wayne makes a ball. Um, doesn't have a open shot early on the one. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the one passes the eight actually. It might. It's going to play safe. Good safety. And I'm not even sure if the two goes or not. Patrick kicking two rails. Now we'll see if the two goes or not. It doesn't look like it is from uh, Wayne's expression. You can easily run into the too. That's what it looks like he's doing. And unfortunately, oh, he does have a shot. It's close. Daniel, can you watch the shot? Can you watch the shot? Yeah. Daniel, Patrick asked for somebody to watch the shot, so Daniel's going to look at it. Good hit. This is kind of funny. Uh, going forward, the cue ball goes into the seventh, so... He's going to have to draw it back a little bit. The score is uh, five to four. All right, I hope I didn't leave you too long. This fall, and I think he, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, BBQ just told me that there's popcorn underneath the table for me to eat. Woo 
Except I can't eat it while I'm streaming. I don't know what he's looking at. All I have to do is make it, draw the cue ball back. He safety. plays safety, yeah. That's the old snooker safety. That's cool, man. I play that shot quite a bit. Do you, do you ever, you know that yeah. shot? Oh, yeah. I play that shot quite a bit. I like that shot. He had his shot on the four. I guess he just uh, didn't want to take a long shot on the five. Looks like this Patrick's is trying to kill the cue ball behind the nine. Oh no, he's oh. trying to cut it in. Wow. Or actually, he tried, he tried, to, tried to, to play safe. In? Actually, he tried to bring the cue ball around behind the five six there. Which is pretty tough. Huh. Okay, maybe that's why he didn't go for the four, because maybe the seven doesn't go. Does does not the seven go? I don't know. I think the seven go is actually okay. Yeah, well, it might. Well, uh, yeah. Jumped up on that one. Oh, now the seven. Oh, the seven went. Did the it really? The seven just went in. Wow. Is he the hooked? The seven is gone. And he hooked himself. No, he didn't. Ooh, he hit that hard. He's going to be frozen. Cue ball is frozen to the rail, this practically. This is a tough spot to be in here. I think he's taking this on the side. What do you it think? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It was a real thin cut there. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I see. Let's see, what can you do here? We're gonna have first this, first Sunday matches uh, playing after the big deal. The final match of the big deal will be the next match. It'll be for first, second place, and then we're gonna have first Sunday matches up here. So I'm a streaming fool. Can you just try to spin it behind the eight ball? The cue ball behind the eight ball? Yeah. He took that on, but played cue ball. Hit it real well. And that was that was a tough and Hit very well, well executed shot. Yep. I think Wayne probably respects that shot, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he probably respects that shot that. a lot. This is really tough to hit, you know? <laughs> Keep telling me, man. Super tough. He's going to have to go the other way, I think, uh, to the short rail first. And then to the long rail, and then to the six. The two rails. This is kind of like how he had Patrick in the last game where there was just nowhere to hit the ball. Yeah. Well, this is the, actually, he can hit this. He can. He can hit it more than Patrick had a chance to hit the other one. He just, you know, he can definitely hit this. A lot of speed. Oh. And it's going to. Oh, no. I, th I swear it to God, I thought it was going to hit. Straightened up a little bit. It did. You're right, Amir. It did straighten up. Uh, I think it was, this match might be over. Wait, really? He <clears throat> won another game while I was gone? Yeah, he's on the hill. Oh, no kidding. No. Wow. 
Patrick Kim looks like he's about to defeat Wayne Pullen and go to the finals playing Bo Runningan. Oh, look at this. The oh, test right here. <laughs> it's not over yet. Wait a minute. It's not oh. over yet. Wayne just slid his. He looked, slyly looked to the side of the room. There's a there. little glimmer of He's hope. He's like, okay. His breathing pattern has changed. I just <laughs> noticed that. That's for sure. Treasure. <laughs> Nice. Wow, okay. He likes to good. fire him. Nice shot by Patrick Kim, who uh, shooting, Patrick. defeats Wayne Pullen in an even race. Yeah. And Wayne Pullen will get $350. And Patrick Kim will advance on to guaranteed second place match for $550 against Bo Runnigan in the final match here today for the big deal tournament number two. Here at Hard Times Billiards in Bellflower, California. Here comes Bo Runningan already getting ready to start his match. He should be getting... Patrick should be getting two games, if They're, I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, there is going to be a spot, too. So we're going to find out exactly what's the weight here. Two games. Patrick gets two games yeah. against Bo Runningan. Um, they're probably going to take a five-minute break. True double elimination in case we oh, okay. and it is true double elimination. So Patrick has to actually win twice from the winners. Wow, uh, interesting. this is going to be tough. So we're going to have another match right now, and I'm going to give away a bobblehead for uh, for the folks in the audience. We have to come up with a trivia question. An Eric Caros bobblehead. Eric Caros, Dodgers. Uh, I don't even know what position he plays. Don't ask me. So anyway, we're going to start the final match of the big deal uh, coming up at you in about five minutes. Thanks a lot for joining us.